You've heard of the Necronomicon. Necronomicon Ex Mortis. Roughly translated, Book of the Dead. But did you know that Aberdeen was home to the author of the Scotch Nomicron? No, no, wait, sorry, sorry, no, it's, it's, it's not, it's not called that. It's, 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 it's called the Scottish Ronicon? And I can't tell you how disappointed I was to find out it wasn't called the Scotch Nomicron. I was just going to fill this video full of Evil Dead references. Groovy. But it's still an interesting book. In fact, what we're going to be looking at today is the precursor to the Scotch Ronicon. The first attempt to create a continuous history of Scotland. The Chronica Gentis Scotorum, also known as John of Forden's Chronicle of the Scottish Nation. Forden is that village you probably know from a signpost you pass on the way to Dundee. It's intersected by the A90 with both sides connected by an underpass, but most of the village is on the west side of the carriageway. The author John of Forden most likely came from this area, and he is thought to have been a chantry priest at St Machar's Cathedral. The book deals with very early histories of Scotland, tracing a lineage of the Scots people right back to the Egyptians and the Greeks. But a lot of this information is legendary and not historically verified. William Skeen, who edited the modern version of this book in 1872 from its Latin translation, describes the early part of John's work as a tainted, artificially constructed history. The latter parts, however, chronicling the rule of Kenneth MacAlpin in the 9th century up until 1363 when the book was compiled, receive more academic merit. Scotland's history is a bit of a quagmire at times, and an analysis of this book's accuracies and deviations from what is now considered to be history is beyond the scope of this video. But the whole book is available to read on the Internet Archive, and I'll leave a link in the description if you want to take a gander yourself. Walter Bauer, Abbot of Inchcombe's later editions, add six more books to the original five by John of Forden. Together, they make a continuous chronicle up to the year 1437, and are collectively known as the Scottish Ronicon. It's described as probably the most important medieval account of early Scottish history. It's available to read on the Open Library, and again, I'll leave a link to it in the description. You can also buy a book called A History Book for Scots, Selections from the Scottish Ronicon, edited in 1998, which might be a bit more palatable than the original text. Anyway, that's all I have for this video. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>